Um, we're going to try to put a horse today onto a cave with wheels. So first and foremost, we have got to build the trust, build a communication and show strong leadership. Once we can show that to the horse, the horse will start hopefully to follow us wherever we want to send the horse. The first thing we do here is prepare the trailer so our horses can load easily. I suggest if you have a swing gate, try removing the gate. If you have barn doors, open up the barn doors. If they lift off their hinges, remove the barn doors. Remove any obstacle that's going to get in your way. Drop the tailgate. And open up your divider as far as possible. Now you may say, my god, that's a dirty trailer. I like to leave my, my trailers a natural smell. Horses have been on this trailer thousands of times. Horses are more comfortable to go onto a, onto a cave, or into a cave that horses have been into before. So think about, don't have a spotless trailer. Leave a little bit of manure, a little bit of hay there, even some dirt. Make it more inviting for the horse. Right, I've checked my pins. Be careful, nothing is sticking out too far. I've opened up my divider. Target's fine, remove the swing gate. I'm confident now the horse, the trailer's prepared for the horse to go on. <coughs> There's one other thing that you can do, if you wish. You can open up the front door. If you have a small trailer, this trailer is actually a long nose trailer an extended trailer. If you have a small trailer, try opening up the front door to make it more inviting for the horse to go into. And remember, have the approach nice for, for the horse, nice inviting approach, and have either side of the trailer um, vacant if you can. It's very important to have everything set up right to make it a lot easier on yourself. Before we attempt to trail load our horse, there are some basic principles we need to apply. The first thing is, can we have our horses gentle to movement? Can we toss that uh, string over the horse's back both ways and have the horse accept the tools that we're about to use? The next thing that we're going to ask our horses to do, can our horses move off a constant pressure? Can we cause them to go backwards? Can we also move our horse's hindquarter by a constant pressure? Hindquarter over and under and rub to a stop. Just make sure we can do this on both sides of our horse and also can we move our horse's front end over. This is by using a constant feel on the halter and also on the shoulder. If we can't do this before we go near the trailer, it could be difficult to actually manoeuvre the horse onto the trailer. We're just demonstrating this both sides of the horse. Just make sure that you play with your horse evenly on both sides. We're just asking our horse here to step around his back legs by crossing his front legs over. And notice the horse is always stepping in front of his front legs. Now the next thing we have to do is just be able to cause our horse to yield to a rhythmical pressure or movement by tapping the stick in front of our horse, also by waving the stick in front, just so the horse can move off movement or a rhythmical motion. Tapping the ground again, we need to, our horses need to be able to move off this sort of motion before we go near the trailer. And also you can just tap the lead rope cause your horses to back up. 
The same again here, we're going to rub our horse down the sides and can we cause our horse to yield their feet, their hind feet over and under and rub our horses. And again, just make sure that we can do the same thing to both sides, having our horses step under with their hind legs and across, under and across. Yield their front end. Can you put some energy by using rhythmical motion towards the horse's uh, neck? Just have their horse step across with their front legs this time. Can they move their front legs around their back legs by having them step forward and across? Same thing to the other side. Just have our horse step across and over across and over. If they get too far forward you can change hands, ask our horse to stop going forward and then over and across. Now what we're going to ask our horse here to do is go sideways on the circle. We're going to hold our horse with our left hand to go to the left, have a straight arm and ask our horse to move sideways on the circle by using a rhythmical motion. And just see if you can do a full rotation on sideways on the circle. And if he goes forward, just ask your horse to back up. And the same thing to the upper side. Just make sure that we can move our horse sideways on the circle. Our right arm is holding the, holding the clip. Our right arm is straight. And just asking our horse to move off a rhythmical motion. Notice the horse, his front legs are stepping in front of his front legs and his hind legs are stepping in front of his hind leg. So the whole horse is going sideways on the circle. Once you've achieved all the previous tasks, it's time to get going. See if we can show some strong leadership for our horse. Have our horse go with us by a direction and a tap on their back. Move their hind quarter under cause our horse to back up off the rhythmical pressure, rhythmical motion, then ask our horse to go somewhere. This is very important for your trailer loading to lead your horse up to the trailer and show a strong focus and eventually send our horse onto the trailer. And just finish there by moving the hind quarter under and having our horse stop by facing us. It's also very important to just make sure the horse doesn't push on our space. And again, we're just going to see if our horse can actually circle around us by using a direction with our left hand and tapping the stick on their back. I'd like the horse to go evenly around us in a circle. Move their hind quarter. And the same thing the other direction. Direct our horse out. And just see if we can now, at the trot, have our horse cope with trotting and also having the stick and the string tossed over their back. It's very important for our horses to be gentle in movement. And toss that string, and also at the same time you can tap with the stick. Disengage your hindquarter for control. And send our horse out again. Now what we're going to do here is just make sure the horse doesn't push into our space. I want the horse to be able to keep a positive circle or keep, keep a regular circle. We can wave the stick from their shoulder to their hindquarter, hindquarter to the shoulder. Just make sure the horse does not push into our space. It's very important for our horse not to actually come into our space. And then finish by moving the hindquarter under the horse to stop our horse. Right, uh, this is Big Red. He's a five-year-old warm blood horse. He's been sent to me actually to, um, to be restarted. He's been bucking the, the riders off. So, but one of the, one of the things he, ha he cannot also do is go onto a trailer. They haven't been able to load him onto a trailer. So today's little job for myself and this big horse is to get him confident enough to accept the trailer. First and foremost, I'm just going to go over this horse and just build his trust with the human by rubbing the horse all over. 
have him accept me in every part of the body. As you can see, he's already concerned about the trailer, looking around, his ears are paying attention to the trailer. Just going to brush this horse all over. His posture, when his head is higher than his wither like this, shows that the horse is worried and concerned. And usually when their head is held high, they're ready for flight. It's when they run on adrenaline. So even though he's accepting Mark's rub, he looks like he could be ready to leave at the slightest provocation. He softened a little bit there when he lowered his head and licked his lips. Righto, so basically now, I'm just gonna see if I can yield this horse by using some sort of steady pressure, just to have the horse, the alpha in the herd, can move the herd's feet in any direction, any time, at any speed. So I have to become this guy's alpha his leader, but also his friend. So it's very important to be able to build the trust and then move his feet. So can I just ask this big horse to move his hind feet by using a steady pressure? That was a pretty nice yield Can there. I ask this big horse to move his front feet His front feet aren't moving as softly as his hind feet. He's showing that he's feeling a little bit defensive and tight through his front end. It's very important to have the, the forward and the backup before we load our horses. There's been many a time I've, I've been to a show or been to a horse, a horse do or an event. And I've seen people get horses on trailers but not been able to get them off the trailer. I'm sure you guys have seen that as well. So can we actually back our horse off the trailer? Is a big one. Horses naturally go forward quite easily. Um, it's less natural for them to go backwards and you generally get more resistance in that direction. Make sure that I can move the horse on both sides. by steady pressure. When a horse licks his lips like that and chews, he's just thought about what's happened to him. He's digesting a thought. Right. The next thing we've got to be able to do with our horse is be able to move our horse's feet, our herd's feet, or our horse's feet, by using a rhythmical motion. And I'm just going to see if this guy just can follow the leader here. If the leader says go backwards. If a horse tips his nose more than about five degrees to the left or to the right, um, it's very difficult to cause them to go backwards. They're more likely to try and leave. So when we're backing them up like this, we always want to try and tip their nose back to the centre if we can and he's trying to turn his nose and leave. Saying if I can turn my nose, I can be gone. And the actual, the rhythmic pressure is more um, of a bother for him than the steady pressure. So when the energy comes up and there's movement around him, he's less confident and he's more likely to feel like he needs to escape. So he needs to get a lot more confident with rhythmic pressure and movement around him.
horses need to be gentle to tools, people, the environment and also their own movement. As Debbie was just saying, this horse here, when his energy comes up, he gets very, very frightened. So I'm going to try and keep the energy down, but be aware of the sudden change of energy level. Can I yield his hind quarter? Can I yield his front end? Again, he's a lot more defensive with his front end than he is with his hind quarters. He wants to load his front end up and dive forward rather than shift his weight back and move his front end out of the way. So that's not working, so I'm going to go back to his hind quarter. Can I yield his hind quarter? And now his front end, yes. One of this horse's tendencies when he first arrived was to push through us or through a human with his shoulder when he got, got worried. Yield his hind quarter. So he's still showing that he's not quite soft and yielding now in this part of his end. body. So if he feels yes. like he needs to defend himself, he tries to load up his front end and push, push through the pressure with it. Then just see if I can just send my, this big horse around. I'm going to incorporate those little poles on the ground. Can he actually step over a pole? As you can see, this is a very athletic horse. He's got a lovely elevated trot and he's a big powerful horse. He'd be over 17 hands. A horse like this acting against a human could be very, very difficult to ride. And acting with a human He's probably got um, very few limitations. There's nothing he couldn't do. So it's a matter of channeling his energy in a positive direction and gaining his trust and confidence. I'm going to ask the horse to follow a steady feel or pressure and then use some rhythmical to have the horse go somewhere. And just make sure I can rub this horse all over to gentle the horse. If the horse can't tolerate the stick on his back or the string over his back and a human walking beside him, how will he tolerate a human on his back when the energy comes up? Righto, what do I have here? I have one big powerful horse. He's a magnificent big horse. He's a scared horse, but very, very athletic horse. He's, he has a mental and emotional and a physical system. Mentally, he's not with me. Emotionally, he's scattered. Then physically, his energy is going into a, into a negative manner instead of into a positive. He, he needs to be, he needs to realise that the world won't eat him. People can be friendly and will be his friends. He needs to accept the human first and foremost. Acceptance of the human. Once he trusts me and once I develop a communication I've got to show strong leadership, and once I display, display strong leadership, hopefully this horse will follow me wherever I want to put him. <laughs>